Welcome to the counselor's office. I'm Mr. Gaming Counselor, and we are live with the Final Shape Developer Gameplay Preview. I just hit the hit the button because I'm going to be uploading this as soon as it's done. I want to preference anyone watching this VOD or watching the live stream currently. This developer gameplay preview is probably one of the most important streams of the year for not just Destiny, but Bungie as a whole. Specifically, because if this doesn't bring hype and people don't want to invest in buying this game, which has been the problem with Final Shape. They, seven months ago, they did a preview for the game and no one was hyped about it M people were more hyped for crota's end coming back than the actual v thing about the final shape the people need to be excited people need to see some content that they want to actually invest in and buy as a consumer it this is one of the most important streams because it will determine whether people want to come back or whether the, the final shape has an inkling amount of value that they want to invest in. And for Bungie, that is very important because if they don't pick up sales, either they're going to have more layoffs before the final shape or after the final shape. And for all we know, I guess speculation, for all we know, if they don't do well enough, they could be dissolved and Bun uh, Sony could take over. We, there's a lot of unknowns. I'm not gonna, I'm theory crafting. There's a lot of unknowns. But we have seen layoffs. We have seen Sony come out and complain about Bungie not performing in the way that they want them to perform. I don't want Destiny to fail. I don't want the final shape to flop. Preferably, that's how I am with all games, right? Like, no one wants to spend money and time and have it flop because that's what the final shape was i spent time and money and it was a flop and no one wanted that everyone was expecting the hype that the witch queen had and carry over to lightfall so my hope is that we do a, a 360 u-turn let's get the crap out wait now 360 is going back we just do a 180 u-turn and we get the crap out of here we 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 make improvements that's my hope. It is 11.30. They are delayed. I hope they don't take another 17 minutes or I'm going to be really annoyed that I did this whole intro and I'm going to have to do it again. What are my thoughts? Let's like, Obviously, people who are going to watch the VOD or live stream will find out, right? But what are kind of like my thoughts of what we'll see today? I think... If they're smart, they will show a new activity that you can only do in the final shape. My hope is that that activity is like Wellspring and not this trash public event stuff like Terminal Overload. Terminal Overload, along with the Blinding Well, I hate those kind of public event stuff. It's not like an event. You go to the area and hope that people are there, and that's the problem with it. Whereas Wisp, uh, the Wellspring was great because you queue up and you immediately find people who are on the same page as you. You're not desperately hoping. So let's let's see what we we're, what we're gonna get. All right, trailer. I, I'm assuming we're gonna get the same trailer we've already gotten before. If they're smart, they'll give us something new. This is Luke from the Destiny. He team. exists. Luke the exists. Final shape is the culmination of a 10-year journey. I'll keep it up. A journey that began on the Cosmodrome took you to the moon venus mars the reef and beyond yeah those were good the times that'll end inside the traveler with you facing the witness but facing darkness the witness is not the end of destiny 2 and it's definitely not the end of destiny okay you're gonna tell us something new after you face the witness we're gonna tell you what's coming next to destiny 2 okay and beyond okay we'll see you soon Okay, that was obviously like Easter egg hint. They did that very intentionally. So there's more coming. That was huge. Hearing that from Luke the Smith himself has been an amazing project to work on. That guy. The amount of creativity, the amount of design work, the amount of all these elements coming together has been inspirational. 
I was like, are you guys, are you guys seeing this? Are you guys seeing this? It looks awesome. I would like to I see it. Yes, I would like to see it. a pretty big impact and it's gonna shake things up a lot. And we just wanted to give you a glimpse of what we're working on. Okay. Show me what you got. Okay. Oh, actual gameplay. Let's go, baby. Developer foot. At least it's gameplay. I'll take it. The witness. Oh, subject air, the new guy. Okay, I really wanted to see how... Oh, there's multiple of them. What the heck? So they're not just going to be like a... Oh, oh there's a, a bigger version? What the heck? Okay. What the heck? Is he like a flavor of all the darkness? Is I see like all kinds of things going on. There's bats? Yo! Uh, we're, we are 100% getting more than one kind of enemy type. That's what we need to see, honestly. When we're talking about the witness, we need to see more witness style like enemies. We are going into the Bill Hart That's great. Traveler, and the Traveler has chosen you, the Guardian, to be its champion. It's empowering us with gifts that we've never really had before. One of the concept okay. artists early on created this very evocative image of a Guardian with light oh! armor and dark armor. Yo, that's dope! We really need this. Why and can't we do that? This is the ultimate form of being a Guardian, to wield light and darkness at the same time. We build no. Prismatic exactly to be that. What? Prismatic is the new subclass in the final shape where you can combine certain class abilities Yo! together. Getting light and dark and mastering it. No one's done that before. Like the witnesses manipulating the energies. Like Dude, the, that's the hope! The that's dark. hope you meet right you, there. The guardian is. Players are. That's dope! No Prismatic shot! Underneath your super bar, there's a light meter and a dark meter. As you deal damage with either light damage or dark damage, it fills the respective sides of the meter. Once both sides are full, you get this new level of power that we're calling Transcendence. I love Transcendence. Is it only in cool this campaign, in though? Box, we have this cool, like, mystic pose. Hunter Dude, Hunter what? The Titan one where you just go. Okay. Freeze and fire and ice, baby. New, unique grenade that combines both light and dark together. The Hunter what? Combo Titans. Strand and arc. Holy crap! Stasis and void together. Bro! That's badass! Of other weapon damage bonuses. Your grenade and melee are both instantly refunded when you cast Transcendence. So you can loop them together one after the other. That's really exciting. That so Dude, good. that, that is good gameplay. Thinking about Prismatic as this advanced subclass where you have more build crafting options more potential combat. It just goes for a solar more slam! More fragments than you normally get. More fragment slots to socket them than you normally get. That is a lot of- What the hell? 2,300. No, I'm just kidding. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. I'm just the art director. <laughs> Wait, that okay, that's funny. Like you are I'm just the art director. I don't know. You shouldn't be able to do- What? It's a little game breaking. I'm not gonna lie. A, a little- A little- Let it break the game! We need that power fantasy back again. Bro, how's the day one raid going to turn out with this, though? Oh, no. What have I done? I'm going to be here all night. Bro, that's the gameplay. I talked about the crafting and how the community wants that power, that fantasy. And they're doing it. They said, screw it. Let's do it for subclasses. Let's make the crafting, but with the ability. Ability? Like, literally take all these different abilities and slam them together. That is so good. What? He's, he suspended just and just slammed him. Of light and dark. It's not just about using multi What's that going to do? Figuring out how they work in concert and really it froze him. Oh, we're transcending radiant. The, the bounds of light and darkness. There's all these sub light darkness really mix and match. And Holy crap. Really combine those and make your own guardian. He's freezing them and suspending them. This like really opens up the doors for unexpected like really wild stuff dude this is I so freaking high being a hunter and having gunpowder gamble yeah and, them up. and then we're like oh wait, wait wait what if you could slow enemies you could throw out you know your shurikens uh -huh. and then you blow them up as well and it's like okay i didn't think i could ever do that that's those two cool things at the same time 
And Dude, the opportunities to mix and match. Withering blade melee and like bounce it between a bunch of people and get like three kills from one melee and now your gunpowder gamble is like fully charged. Right? What? And so like certain interactions I think get a lot easier <laughs> just because we've sort of made the aspects a little bit, a little bit more permissive, a little bit, a little bit looser. Good. We need the power fantasy. That's what people want in this community. They want the power fantasy. Probably Dude, Warlock I want to see them throw a, a, a Nova um, Bomb. Lightning Surge build where you have Arcane Needle for three melee charges. <gasps> and then you combine Ooh. that with Lightning Surge. You can throw Bleak Watcher on top of oh, that. Oh, PvP so about to be broken. Crowd control, PvP about to be power. broken if this translates into so the main game. Jumping in, Lightning Surging, that's killing a bunch of stuff. You're activating Devour. That gives you infinite sustain, effectively, to stay in the fight. As a Titan, you can just quickly start using your arc abilities to jolt all the enemies Dude. around and then kind of finish them off. And he got Radiant, like too. He's got three different things going on. Sand. What the and hell? It's so satisfying to see how fast you move. It's a very, like, fun, destructive build that you can just, like, destroy everything around you. And it, Bro! It, it's a there was this moment for me where I was like, wait a minute, I could send out Threadlings and have a Bleak Watcher it just creates so these moments stupid. of escalation within the combat, and I think that's really exciting for me. Dude, if you total field control, watcher, summoner you build. You can have a summoner build in Destiny. You consume your grenade to throw your Bleak Watcher out there, and so it's you know locking stuff down with stasis, doing crowd control. You You're, can, you can do a summoner build pretty easily with you know an arcane needle melee, which has three charges. Those threadlings and then Bleak devour, Watcher, which gives you more grenade energy every time Devour activates. No so shot. And so you can have like multiple Bleak Watchers out on the field. That's so broken. You're just like launching your cool strand melees out and everything's dying. And it's oh my God. Bleak Watchers everywhere. I might have to become a warlock again. Challenge of like, how do we make stuff that wasn't initially intended to like work together in the same build? Like this hunter has to just twist them and warp them and push and pull this and that to make them work together. I'm excited about, you know, seeing, uh, all the players like talk about their favorite combinations i'm just looking this sounds to all this has to only be the final shape though I, I doubt you can do this in any other part of the game they're pairing it up with to create like this these amazing builds it feels infinite to me uh, holy crap I'm, the exotic really builds too can you let us use two exotics okay that's pretty dope you're right, it did take him 11 years to do it, but hey, it's better late than them just straight up dying. I'm glad they're doing this. I'm glad they're they're taking, they're finally listening to the community. They're finally giving us power fantasy. We are finally being powerful. We are literal god slayers. And this lets me feel like one. This makes me feel like I'm, a, I'm someone who took out Oryx. Like I'm a total badass. Like, this is what we need. Like, that. That's what we needed. I'm not gonna lie. This this is hype. But I know that it's, it's gonna be self-contained to just the Final Shape campaign. Like, there's no way they're laying this in Grandmasters. In the Final Shape, we're gonna be making these new Ooh. exotic class items. Ooh, what? Well, finally! Class they're items back! Allow you to steal perks from other exotics and combine two perks together no way time. the perks that come on them are actually random rolled one thing that is going to be fun is to chase these perks and then find different combinations that work really well you could steal different what that wasn't even what people wanted from class items but you could just have you multiple class classic are all about prismatic and making that feel good so it's going to be all about enhancing your builds and your combination multiple uh, exotic abilities achieving transcendence holy and crap does, they also look there's so no good. way this is going to be allowed in the day one raid there's no shot with these class items we wanted them to stand out this is not going to be in gms there's no way they they're going to allow that in gms either columns that take aspects from other exotics Exotic class items are going to let you do things that other classes give, give me an example. Their own, but now let me see. Let me see. Show me. I managed to get Spear of the Assassin, Simple Steps, Home Up, Hunter Build, a roll on the exotic cloak. That Wait, on the Hunter? Kills, cause enemies to ignite. 
and also I could get an extra dodge charge, so I could do an extra slow charge on enemies. What? At the same time. We want it to feel a little broken. You can make an actual assassin build. It felt like I had two exotics on my cloak, which is kind of the intention. We want that to feel like you're bending the rules a bit. Yeah, break the rules, baby. This is the crafting, but with abilities and exotics. Matching in a way that I think is going to just be fun to see. What you can have your own style gameplay. And like in what becomes the meta. Screw the meta. What's the most fun? They look like amazing. this is just about fun they at this point. Visual effects that activate when you are transcendent. It just really ties into this overall theme. But on top Dude, of that, the game shield bash with basically stealing exotic traits from other exotics and even from classes that aren't you adds this element Wait, of spice to that aren't even you so you can have different roll, class abilities you're going to want to keep looking for the right one for your builds yeah you can have a summoner build you can have a, a hulk build i guess and you could also have an assassin build that's dope ah uh, the smg i forgot about and then the shotgun i've also forgot about because we've got better what is going on here okay this seems like this seems like a little more difficult. They're, they're actually packing a punch. So this seems like a more difficult content. What? Is, this guy seems very tanky. And of course they're using Thunderlord for all the Thunderlord chads out there. Yes, you're right, Miles. They're, what meta? It's literally gonna be chaos, which I'm okay with it. But I know for a fact that it's not gonna the be allowed in GMs. There's no the shot they do. Witness faction. The Dread? We got a new faction, when baby! The Dread! See these new characters, not only do they look unique and new, but you see like a through line Dude, that we've that's been building fantastic. for years that connects it all together. Dude, they're like gargoyles or harpies. And you've that's seen dope. Member of the Dread before. You might remember seeing the Tormentor make a big appearance last year. Yeah, I mean, that was about the only well, thing cool about Lifehall. You have like this slate of new enemies with like the tormentor and the that's great it's fantastic and the, and the attendant and the green and the husk that's this what we like need baby of the witness in these new enemies yeah rtg the brakes are off let us go it's the crafting 2.3.0 uh, except with abilities and exotics favorite new enemies that we have in destiny i think it's a poster child of the dread in some ways it's good just, Bat with a gun. The gun <laughs> That's yes, cool. Exactly. <laughs> That's dope. Dude, that is so cool. They look like they're going to be so annoying too. It's a profile we've never seen in Destiny. You are facing now the first flying character with actual wings. It only took 11 years, <laughs> right, Miles? And if that hits you, it suppresses your ability. Oh, they're going to be so annoying. There's, there's the challenge it's right there. There's your challenge. The shield of the team and made us think we have to do this. We have to make this character. They're gonna be so annoying. I can tell you right now, I'm gonna hate them. The husk is this melee bruiser who has these Ooh. incredibly dangerous looking blades and they're going to do these cool acrobatic attacks. So like an assassin? Dude, that's dope. He's like assassin. Like I'm thinking like they Dark are, Souls. They have two of these very sharp melee weapons and they just come charging with those things and we'll just slice Can we them get those weapons to use ourselves? They are really dangerous, especially in groups. Yeah, it looks like assassins. If you to kill the husk, you have to be careful. Because if you kill it the wrong way, what's inside of the husk? The geist is going to pop out and it's going to seek you out. There's a geist! A okay, geist that's cool. Me. More than I care to admit. Now I'm like looking everywhere every time I go. Dude, those are going to be annoying in GMs. Is there a husk somewhere? somewhere? Because I'm targeting that first. <laughs> Freeze them, baby. Oh, okay. And the attendant are our spellcasters. So we got assassins, spellcasters, flyers. Shaped by the witness. We wanted to show like the influence of. Holy crap, dude! Look at everything characters. just hitting you. They have a stasis ability that can shoot at you that will freeze you. They have a strand ability that will pull you across the battlefield. What? The fact that you can get oh god frozen in place just adds a big new dynamic. Maybe the enemies are gonna bounce things out. Yeah, maybe that's what's gonna bounce. The harder, harder enemies are gonna bounce things out. Shoot out this complete, powerful strand wave. If that thing hits you, it's almost like a rubber band. It like pulls back. Holy crap! 
Yeah, this is gonna and, like, be snaps, a and, like, challenge. Pulls you towards that character. Yeah, as you know that these guys are what's gonna be the equalizer. As soon as there's multiple characters trying to pull you in different directions towards you, you have to approach it in a different way. I would have finished him. I I'm do really want to see what they are. About everything that we've been doing for the final shape. I mean, the gameplay like looks amazing. Really cool through line through all of this. It's the culmination of the Guardian's journey over the last 10 years. We wanted to deliver something that's really like fun and exciting and engaging for players. I would say it it's very exciting to see this initial inspiration carried all the way through to become a reality in the final shape. Ooh, okay, so they're going through the portal. We're getting a little sn uh, sneak peek of them going in. Ooh, there's more. We need to go. Wait, moving. is there a dark, like, core vibe to this? Dude, I imagine that I would be terrified for those guys in the dark. The brought darkness into the traveler to turn their threat into our annihilation. Holy. Yeah, baby. I want to I want the br let the brakes come off in the guardian. New power. I can feel it. Yeah, that's what we need. Listen, it's a dark it's the witness, the final threat. Like biggest threat we've ever seen. We need to go guns a blazing. We're literally god killing slayers. We should feel like that in this final fight. So, I fully expect us to be able to do this against like the campaign witness. Or if there is one, I don't expect us to be able to do this during uh, Grandmasters or like Grandmasters, Day One raids. We'll talk more about it in a minute. Be brave in dark places, for we are the light of hope. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm digging the, the gameplay. Oh my god. Imagine having having your little fireball dude and then just going around shocking everything. We've not really seen the witness, by the way, in here. Oh, Mara's in here too? Cade? Dude, we really do need to see everyone as part of this. Pyramid vessel exotic ship is the pyramid. Actually, that's kind of dope. Oh, launch trailer. We're getting a double dose. This is the launch trailer, so let's watch it. Forces of the witness surge at the borders of the city. Lord Shax has been authorized by the Vanguard to place an arsenal of banned weapons from his personal collection. Let's go. For some reason, Hunjuring is not necessarily banned. It's still in the game, but okay. Good luck. New wave defense activity. All right. Oh, Cosmodrome. So there's one in the Cosmodrome. That. that makes sense, and it should be. We, we know there was one PvP map. We now see a I want one on Titan. Give me the hype. I know you'll use this Blast Furnace, God. Good to see you again, sexy. I missed you. I missed you, sexy. Hungaria, I've been using you. Recluse. I'm putting frenzy on my recluse. Fallen guillotine. Pot. I, I'm pretty hyped about fallen guillotine. It's always been my favorite sword. Limited edition hollow foil. Reprise exotic mission. That's what I'm hyped for. We are gonna play the whisper. I'm so excited for this. New challenges. God, I'm so excited. Outbreak perfected. I'm also excited for to see how rapid hit. Give them war. I'm not gonna lie. This is how you build hype for a, for a new activity in it that's free. I'm gonna be honest. That's how you build hype. Not this half butt creative. super I'm black. Yeah. I'm, I'm glad we got super black back. People have been wanting that for uh, years. I mean, I'm going to be honest, guys. Uh, I'm going to be honest. Uh, I 
think we're back. <laughs> Want to refresh? I hope they ended it. No, they haven't ended it, but it's annoying because I want I want to watch, but until they end it, I can't. There we go. Yeah, I mean, I'm just gonna let this play while while we uh, we'll let the, we'll let this play while while I talk. My opinion. All right, my general consensus is this is a W. They show gameplay. I think per this is the best thing they could do. They gave us power fantasy. This is what the community has wanted for years. Especially the crafting really highlighted it. That the, the community has wanted that hype for years. And we're, we, want, we wanted to feel powerful. But we're going to get that with the in, in prismatic subclass. Mwah. Mwah. Beautiful. Fan freaking tastic. Cannot complain about that. I think that is the best way that they could have handled it, in my honest opinion. I'm very critical of, of Bungie, but they did something that they needed to do, which is make the gameplay exciting. Bring a new faction, a new subclass, new faction, and they're breaking the game by bringing uh, an exotic class item that lets you steal from other exotics so you can mix and match and you can build your character with multiple and that's that is my biggest criticism of destiny is that the 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 build craft sucks and they fixed it this fix build crafting because now there are multiple possibilities i now give a crap and that's huge this fixes several of my complaints not feeling powerful, not having good build craft, and we, we're we, not a new subclass, not like that we care about, and not like a new enemy type, but we have all that. I, I'm actually feeling hyped to go into the final shape. Now, I'm skeptical, as anyone who has played the, the Lightfall campaign should be skeptical. We got hyped for that too. But gameplay wise, I think will for sure be be good. We aren't back. It'll just be for the final shape, and after it will be mediocre trash again. We will see. I have my. I personally feel like we're not going to see this in every part of the game. I feel like it's going to be self-contained to the campaign. I don't think you'll see this. There's no way they'll allow this in the raids or grandmasters or trials. There's absolutely no freaking way. This is going to be just a final shape only. It will probably return back to normal. At, you are right. 100% will return back to normal. I think that for the people that are worried that this is going to 100% break all parts of the game, I don't think that's the case. I think in the campaign, it's okay for it to break. I feel like they should have special... Here's my, uh, my, my th process. There should be special raids and special grandmasters. The people that want to sweat their tits off and want to do that, grandmasters, there should be a noble version, and you should get, like, a special, like, emblem, or maybe that's where you get, like, the double perks is the normal grandmasters. But if you just want an easy adept that doesn't give you double perks, but you can farm, there should be a grandmasters where you can use prismatic abilities and all that broken stuff. There should be, after day one raids, there should be a special version of a raid like where you can do broken abilities. But obviously, you get better loot in the normal version. Or who cares? It's normal, right? Who cares? Yeah, just let it be. You can f toggle it on and off. If you want a normal experience, who cares? Master raids. Obviously, very coveted, challenging. I think you should have a master raid where you can just play the game, but you can't do challenges. Like if you want to do it a hard difficulty and get materials and stuff like that, you can break the game by doing, but you don't, you can get maybe one adept or something, but I 100% don't think you should make it to where the whole, everything is canceled. Again, that might be me being elitist, but I'm thinking of a world where they can balance it out between people who want a challenge, but people who want the game to just they want to feel powerful. I think they could do different modes is my, my, my suggestion. All right, guys. 
Thank you for watching. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. I'm Mr. Gaming Counselor. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm still going to be live. Until next time, don't forget.